Welcome back to my channel, friends, Blessed and OCC Obsessed, where it is my goal to encourage and inspire you to pack full, fun, and personal shoe boxes. Today I'm going to share with you a box that I packed up last night. It is for a boy aged two to four. Uh, before I do that, I want to share a little bit about um, my process for packing theme boxes and maybe it'll inspire you and help you if you are also um, interested in have fun packing um, theme boxes as well. So this particular box, um, the theme was accidental, or I guess there's really no accidents. For me, it felt accidental. Um, I went to uh, pick up a, an item for a shoebox at Kohl's, and I don't shop there very often for shoebox items, but um, I went there in search of one of the Kohl's Cares, I think it was Tigger that day, that um, was being advertised on sale. And while I was there, um, digging through their little um, clearance bin, I came across a blue cat. And the tag said Pete the Cat. And I'd never heard of Pete the Cat, but he was cute. Um, he was soft, and I knew he'd fit in the shoebox. And so... I contemplated it. He was only $3, so that's an, an extremely cheap WOW item. Um, and I decided to go ahead and grab him. So I picked him up, went home. That same evening, um, went on a date night with my husband, and he, he's so faithful in letting me go shopping at a Dollar Tree or two when we're on our date nights. And so we headed to one of my favorite ones. And as I was walking towards the coloring book section, um, rattling off a list of ones I hoped to find for my husband, right on the very front of the coloring books was a Pete the Cat coloring book. And so I started giggling and I, cause I'd already told my husband about finding this cat and that I felt like God wanted me to do a Pete the Cat theme. And I looked at my husband and he said, I guess you were right. It's what God wants you to do. So I picked up the coloring book. Um, when I do theme boxes, what I usually do is when I start um, gathering items, I get a two gallon Ziploc bag. I usually pick them up at Dollar Tree and I put the similar items in it and continue to collect that way until I have enough to um, put together a box. And so I had this bag and it just had the stuffy and it just had um, the coloring book in it. And it's been uh, several months and I know it could take years. Um, I do have bags that I've had for a couple years that aren't quite ready yet. But Monday, after I shared my box um, about my grandma um, the other day, I felt like the next box I needed to pack was this particular box. Um, so I decided to go ahead and get the two items and start looking around and seeing what I had. And I had a, a, a little soccer ball that would go really well. I have pencil bags of the same color, you know. So I started thinking color theme, Pete the Cat theme, I could marry the two themes together. And I did that along with crafting. I love to craft. And so crafting is a very fun and affordable way to um, add to um, themes or to even create a theme. So that's what I did. So let me turn our camera around and I will start unboxing this little shoe box and share with you how I created this very fun two to four year old themed Pete the Cat shoe box. Okay, friends, let's take off my favorite 107 rubber band. Oops, you might hear that. That's one of his little toys. All right. One of the other things I do that I want to share with you is I print off a, um, either at a sticker or I print off a picture of what the theme is. So I know what's in these boxes if I want to add to it later or if I decide to do a video on it in the future. All right. One of the first things he'll see that I wanna share is his lid. Um, this lid uh, I created, I started with a, I found an image on the internet of just Pete the Cat 
um, playing a guitar and it said Pete the Cat and then I use Canva for my video editing and for my crafts and so I just embellished the picture and created this fun little image for his lid that says Jesus loves you um, and that's what he'll see one of the first things he'll see when he opens the box all right so his wow item this is that fun Pete the cat that I found at Kohl's for three dollars he is so soft and he's just adorable um, love his little shoes and this is his wow item this is that soft soccer ball that I already had in my collection that I felt like would go great with the colors that Pete the Cat um, inspires in this box. He is for a two to four year old. So what I did was um, I got a three prong notebook and I printed off some of the um, toddler and preschool pages for him to practice with his writing with. So there's different sizes. This one is toddler and this one is preschool or I think it's preschool and kindergarten is what you find. But I printed off there. I think there's um, 50 pages in here. And then I um, used my Cricut and I created this fun little sticker of Pete the Cat and put it on the front of the notebook. This is the coloring book that I found at Dollar Tree. I added a fun blue wooden um, car, a big yellow poppet tube for him to play with, a yellow whistle, a blue rubber duck, and this little t-shirt um, sleeve bag. I've added some red, white, and blue sunglasses. Okay, so as I was putting this box together last night, um, I had a gap right here. And I had a um, little jingle, uh, jingle bell musical. It's the little wooden ones that has a little uh, block on the top and a handle and a whole bunch of um, bells. And it fit there, but it just didn't seem to fit. So I decided to go to my, um, my, big box um, that I keep my two to four year old toys in and as I went to open the the box lid and looked hang on top was this fun little guitar it's a musical guitar that plays music I picked this up at Dollar Tree I think last year and I've I had another one and I tested it and it worked for quite a while it does take batteries so i included um oops i included some extra batteries and a little screwdriver in here to go with it but i thought this went wonderful besides the colors look beat the cats playing a guitar so i thought how fun so once again god to the rescue um this was one of the things that i crafted that i had so much fun doing it was very challenging um but I used my Cricut and I des this is my design, um, this blue cat um, using vinyl and it was multi layers so it was a kind of a learning experience for me but look at this, how cute it turned this little black bag into a bag with Pete the Cat on it. I also um, braided him a t-shirt jump rope. This is a shorter length because this box is for a two to four year old, um, but I chose colors that went with Pete the Cat. So that's another way to add some, some to the themes for those of us who are just obnoxious with our theme boxes. And I always add a little um, picture of a boy and a girl jump roping so that the child knows what this is. I added um, his little um, hygiene pack. It's got a comb, some emery boards, uh, clippers, some chapstick, and then this is a little blue and red and white toothbrush. It has Captain America on it, but I thought the colors went well. This is one of those um, tennis shoe, lace-up tennis shoes that I have started making, and I added one in here that's a, a red, blue, and white. Just added some fun red beads. It's 
some outdoor chalk for him. I got two pair of socks and these are two pair. I always uh, slip one of the um, piece, one of the socks inside the other. That way they hopefully stay together, but it's a red one and a blue one. I included a blue flashlight. Some jumbo crayons. This is his pencil bag. It's got number two pencils. Um, this is for two to four, so I don't quite get as crazy with the two to four as I do the olders. But it's got um, six number two pencils, a couple, couple colored um, fun pencils, a black pen. It's got a six inch ruler, scissors, large eraser. It's got um, a uh, sharpener. I also included in his school bag his yellow cross necklace on a string that I made. I like to include those in all my boxes. A fun little red googly eye pen. And then there is a pack of Pete Cat stickers. So that is what I have included in my two to four year old school pack. And then I added a really soft blue and white washcloth to the bottom and this very pretty um, thank you prayers book that I found at Dollar Tree. Um, I got really pretty pictures and very sweet little prayers. And then at the bottom of my box is that letter that I like to include in all of my boxes that tells you that you are special and Jesus loves you. It includes a picture of my family and I. Also shares a little bit about what our family likes to do and um, our email address. So one day hopefully I will hear back from a recipient, but if not, it still adds some personal touch to the letter um, in letting the child know that they are loved. I sure hope that you enjoyed um, my shoebox unboxing today. Um, I hope it gave you some great ideas on how you can um, personalize your boxes, how you can craft to um, theme box if you're interested in that. If you're not, that's okay. Um, I, they're not necessary, but um, I love to do them and it, it just adds a level of challenge for me that I just really enjoy. But if you haven't already, like and subscribe to my channel, please do leave me a comment. I love hearing from you and come back and see me for my next video. Have a blessed day.